My name is Deanna Lopez. I am a third grade humanities teacher here at Basis San Antonio Primary Medical Center here in San Antonio, Texas, and I am a Milken educator. Honestly, we had no idea. We had no idea. The kids were just told we have to have them at this time. We prepped them and said, okay, we don't know what's going on. We're just going where we're supposed to go. So we did what we were supposed to do. We had no idea what was happening. We saw a lot of people in suits, <laughs> which at basis is a little strange to see a lot of suits. So we were completely shocked. We had no idea what was even happening down here. None at all. So quite a shock. I, you know, we started off with just a little introductions. We got to hear our kids sing, which was amazing. We thought that was it. <laughs> we thought, okay, our kids are going to perform for these important people, and they did a great job. And then we started talking about teaching and educators and, and seeing that, and we all started looking at each other like, is this about us? So we got a little bit more excited. Then we started to see that dollar bill sign and started looking at each other like, oh my goodness, is this for one of us? So we started nudging each other back there. We're like, is it you? Is it you? Is it you? And then when I heard my name, it was that I was actually the recipient of this Milken Award. Utter shock. It was complete out of body experience. It didn't feel real. I kind of just buried my hands because all I heard was them chant those kids chanting my name. So it was a complete shock to receive this award today. We had absolutely no idea it was even for me, let alone even what was happening today. So. Just a complete surprise. <laughs> We're at a time in the United States where there are teachers leaving the classrooms in droves. We know a lot of issues go on in the classroom, but some of us truly love doing it. And for some of us, we can put up with the other things kind of going around in us. At this school, I have so much incredible support so that I have stayed here for six years because of the support I have, because of the students I get to teach. So the fact that this award is actually recognizing me for my efforts, which I know how great I am as a teacher, I know how good I do, but it's so nice to see that not only other people outside of the school, but that my fellow teachers here, that the kids know just how much effort that I put in on a daily basis. To see that kind of recognition, to see that somebody knows noticed that anybody noticed it's amazing it's amazing this is what keeps teachers in the classroom is this kind of recognition of taking the time to say you're amazing at what you do when you are surrounded by children all day there aren't a lot of adults coming up to you and saying great job so to have that to have that moment it helps to keep us here. It helps to keep us in the classroom where I am doing the most good that I know I can do. Um, so at the beginning of the year, I have amassed a really big library. I believe it's the biggest in the school, but we haven't counted just yet. <laughs> I have an amazing library. One of the things that I really push for my kids is that love of reading. I tell them all the time that this is going to grow your brain, your prior knowledge, and I want to get them into reading. So we can't really take time to look through all of the books and figure it out. So what we do is a book tasting. They come into my room and it's set up like a cafe. We have tablecloths, there's little fake candles. They they have place settings, they've got a little knife and fork. The kids come in and they're like, whoa, because they have no idea what's happening. All the kids sit down and I introduce them to the appetizers. That's where I explain all the different genres that they're going to experience. We talk a little bit about that and then I give them a menu. On that menu, it has information that they're going to fill out after they taste the book. So we always get a few kids who are like, uh, no, we're not putting it in their mouth. We're going to read it. It's a timed thing, so usually about five to seven minutes, and I tell them, you can begin at the beginning of the book, the middle of the book, the end of the book. Read for seven minutes. At the end of that, you're gonna fill out this paper that talks about, did you, are you interested in reading this book? Is this what you're into? Do you wanna pass on this? What would you rate it? Then we pick all the books up. We have a nice silver tray that we use. And then we walk around and then we put those books and we switch them. So they'll go through about five or six books during that and then we come back together and talk. What are the must read books that are on the bookshelf? Which ones do you need to read today? And then starting the next day, we start checking out those books so that they start getting interested. They also explain to each other what books they're interested in so that maybe they didn't get to taste that book, but they've heard their friend talk about it. And so they're like, oh, I want to read that. I tell the books that books are not gendered. So we've got all the books out. They get to read all of them and they get to experience what they have. My bookshelf is open to them so that they can read books and grow their knowledge. I want to grow that love of reading. 
When I see my, student achieve, my students achieve, it truly gives me the feeling like I'm doing something. I'm making a difference. When I can, you, and you can see it. Teachers talk all about seeing the aha moment. You can. You can look at your kids. And for our kids, they're very vocal, so they'll actually say, be, oh, having that moment means so much to a teacher. Being able to see them actually achieve and understand a concept that I'm trying to get them or that it just piques their interest. That they'll go, they'll try to find out more information on their own. That is what it is to see the kids actually make those achievements, making progress. And that's most important to me.